Hey guys, Big Mix Models UK, back with another video. Um, this is just in reply to some people that's asked me some questions and left some comments um, on my videos. Um, I appreciate all the comments, um, but I cannot comment back. But I always give a thumbs up back to you. If you notice that, if you see a thumbs up, that's from me. Um, I don't know why, because every time I try to leave um, comments, um, even on your guys' videos, it's saying invalid text. Um, I've googled this and everything. Uh, I just cannot find what's going off. Um, I even went to the extreme of fully re reinstalling my computer, thinking I'd got a virus that had caused this problem. No. Then all of a sudden it worked for a short period of time. And then it's sorted again. But I am working on this uh, thing. I always try to leave a comment. But, you know, as, as yet, I've, uh, I'm either miss seeing something that's blatant in my face that I'm doing wrong, which I don't know what, or it's something seriously technical, uh, which is, may take me a while to sort out. So, there you go, all you guys, Classic Plastics, Chris and Alex, Alex Modlin, um, you know, everybody, Radzi, Atomic Dog, Red Dragon, I'm watching your videos, I just cannot comment, lads. I'm very sorry, because I know you guys go out there and spend the time to comment on my videos, and I can't even say thank you on the videos. So, but anyway, a couple of questions um, I've asked. Um, one was from Firefighter35740, Neil. And the question was, where did I get my paints from? I'm going to post a link. I'd love to be able to post a link, but I can't post. <laughs> but I can give you the um, company's name, which is on eBay. And it is RC Jazz. That is Romeo, Charlie, Juliet, Alpha, Zebra, RC Jazz, Model Shop. RC Jazz, Model Shop, and that is on eBay. Um, and they're £1.93 um, per jar. £1.93 each, with free postage. <clears throat> so, I hope that was out there, Firefighter. Um, 35740, Neil. Uh, I'll say it again, it's RC Jazz Model Shop. That is on eBay. And they're £1.93. That's English pounds. And it is free post. So I hope that helps you get some paints. Um, I found them quite cheap actually at that price. And they don't take long to, to arrive. Uh, the next one is 69 Bridgeman. Uh, thank you very much for mentioning that my videos are upside down. I've not noticed. I'm a plum. I've set everything up different. Um, my camera is right above me here now. And I've obviously put the camera the wrong way around. To me, it looks okay. And obviously, when I've been doing the videos, I've been holding the boxes like this to show you and they should be like this so my apologies for that one there um, 69 Bridgeman um, take a look at my last, the latest videos I've put on about inbox reviews and I hope they're better for you um, another thing is I'm coming along with my head art um, 116 type 24 that's coming along quite well you can pick out the pre-shading in there I've tried the pre-shading again I'm really getting into this pre-shading 
Well, that's coming on quite well. And this is the one with the um, bright white lettering that goes down the side. And that's finished. That should look nice. Nice little kit. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, I had a blocked airbrush. I tried everything to clean it and I couldn't get it clear. And what blocked it up was some clear. Um, the floor polish. So I've been struggling to get that clear and I'm going to chat with a few people and they mention this ultimate airbrush cleaner um, what can I say about this it is absolutely brilliant if you get a blockage and when I'm in a blockage uh, if you've watched my videos I use my homebrew my homebrew just 99 percent cleaning thinning everything but for this one blockage I had I just couldn't clear it and I thought I've got to try something and I tried this um, ultimate airbrush cleaner um, it's not cheap but I put it in little jars like this to me a jar an empty one and I soak my nozzle in it just give it a shake round and I could see all these little odd bits I mean I'd even put it through the ultrasonic cleaner and that didn't touch it so if you're having problems guys this is an amazing product um, ultimate airbrush cleaner I don't use anything else um, and I haven't done for a while um, all I've stuck to is my homebrew um, screen wash things like that but I needed something that was a bit stronger I didn't want to ruin my seals so I tried this and that will sit on my shelf now and that will get used if and when I get a, a real bad blockage um, otherwise I should use my own homebrew um, for clearing everything out Um, one other thing I've been experimenting with, seen a lot of guys using this, and this is to me, to me, extra thin. With um, let me zoom you in, melted down sprue. You just put the sprue in, and it um, melts. I'll get my tissue. I'll show you. It melts down into like a melted plastic. Um, that's just how it looks. Just like that. I can get it all the way to the. There it is. It's just like a thick glue. Like that. But if you've got a seam line, quite a deep groove, crack, anything, this is brilliant, this is better than any filler, it goes off rock hard because it's set the sprue goes back to plastic, it takes a little while to go off but once it goes off you can sand it down, I mean on my, on this kit here, along this edge here, I've got get pointy from here to about here I had a real deep grit it was more like a recessed panel line along here and all I did is I put some of this in left it overnight went by the next day and it's it's set like plastic brilliant absolutely brilliant so try that guys just get a bit of your old sprue um 
when you get down to the bottom, your jaws are extra thin. You always get that little bit at the bottom. Keep topping them up into one jaw. Chop some screw up into it nice and thin, uh, small. Leave it in there. Let it soak all the glue up. It'll all go to a paste. And that is an excellent filler. Something that I've picked up off you guys and I'm passing back to people that, you know, have not, not done it. Another thing I've got is this. If anybody's tried this, it's toolbox two part epoxy resin. Now, I've not tried this one before. Um, I usually use this one, which is the epoxy five minute resin. So this is a new one for me to try out. So I should be trying that out, and I'll let you guys know what uh, what comes of that. Um, but this stuff from the pound shop, I can't get it anymore. And you just get four tubes, two Bs and two As. It comes like this. One resin one hardener mixed up brilliant if you've got big wings to do on a, on a model or a little niggly bit that you, you just won't hold of anything else a bit of this five minutes bang it's set it's, uh, it's solid but as i say can't get it anymore or i can't find it anymore should i say in my local ones so i've resorted to this one this is from the pan shop um no idea if it's any good as I've not used it yet, but as soon as I do use this one, I will let you guys know and keep you up to date on that one. Um, I think that's about it. So I shall leave it at that. Uh, I hope these this this video has been a help. Thank you guys very much. Um, some people might take um, some of the comments that I've had as, as criticism. Um, with, with people saying all oh, your video, I like watching your videos, but they're upside down. That's not criticism to me. That's helping me. That is a pointer. I'm saying, you know, you're getting this a bit. You're getting this wrong. We're looking at them and they're upside down. Thank you very much for that. Two thumbs up. To um, who was it that mentioned that? That was 69 Bridgman. 69 Bridgman. Two thumbs up, mate. You're the first person to tell me. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And on that note, I shall leave it at that. I'll catch you on my next video. Like and subscribe somewhere at the bottom. And I'll speak to you soon. Okay, guys. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.